Oh, my pretty daffodil, how do you smell so sweet? Sweeter than a ketchup stain or a pair of sweaty feet. Sweeter than a... Nibby, what the heck are you doing? Oh, hey, Squirt, I'm just smelling these pretty flowers. Won't quit it, all right? You're supposed to be on alert. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Hmm, goofball. <laughs> Okay, now this is just dumb. I mean, for starters, no way, no how would I ever get beat up this bad. Careful, you'll mess up your skull fracture. Besides, we're doing this for Tyson, right? And let me say, I really appreciate it. Thanks to you guys, Junkyard Jim will think I'm the bravest, most toughest dog in town. Exactly. Ugh, the sacrifices I make for my species. <laughs> Sweeter than a beef bone that's been left out in the sun. Huh? Who? Oh yeah! Um, Goldilocks to knock worse. Santa Claus is coming to play out! Roger that! Santa Claus, I mean Junkyard Jim, is coming! Right on time. Of course he's on time. The message I left convincing him to come here was perfectly detailed. Everybody in position. Have I mentioned how much I don't like this? Over and over. May I help you? Hoo-wee! Mighty fancy place you got here, Mr. Dogcatcher. What? Oh, yes, it's a regular canine Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal? Oh, I don't know much about basketball players. I'm just a simple junk man. Name's Jim. Junkyard Jim. Gee, I'd have pegged you as a millionaire Monty or a diplomat Dave. Meanwhile, back in the office, my bran flakes are getting dangerously soggy. <laughs> hey, gotcha. I got a business. I'm here about the junkyard dog. You know, the one your German lady assistant called me about. Funny story, really. I just... Just look at him. That's one fine human. <laughs> to each his own. Tyson, you're about to be a very happy prince. Next thing you know, she's convinced me I really do need another dog. I have no idea what you're talking about. More importantly, I don't care. Pick whatever dog you like. Okay, Cookie, hit the dirt and make it look real. You owe me for this. Duly noted. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Oh, my life, I dreamed of being a junkyard dog. Shoot for the stars, baby. Knock it off. And you, just remember to look tough. Oh, I will. Real tough. You'll see. Ow! He's a heavy! Uh, Tyson? Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Heavy. Just how I like it. There you go. Well, you're not very tough. Heck, you're down that bashful. <laughs> Fella could steal my aluminum cane collection right out from under your nose. Maybe I'm at the wrong panel. Now wait just a lickety split minute. Who just look at what you've done to that scary cat old hound pup. Mighty impressive. Yes, sir, mighty impressive. Sweeter than a sausage or a hunk of stinky cheese. Sweeter than a... Huh? Oh, that ain't that sweet. It's a fuzzy little honey... <laughs> Ow! Oh, get out of my nose! Get out of my nose! <laughs> yep, I reckon you'll do just right. <laughs> What is going on out here? I don't know, sir. This dog just went crazy. Oh, steady doggy. Stop moving around. Lock that crazy cur up where he can't do any more damage. You don't need to lock that dog up, mister. Because I'm taking him home. What? Oh, no. You want him? That's right. That there's the best junkyard dog i ever seen. But, but, that's my dog. That's right. Come on, dog. You're coming with me. Nibbling, no! Some guys get all the breaks.
That thing can move faster than it looks. Well, we gotta catch him or Niblet's gonna be stuck in that junkyard for good. But that's where I'm supposed to be stuck for good. Look, we'll figure out a way to get you in and Niblet out, but we gotta catch him first. Which is not gonna happen now. Oh, no! And we don't even know where it's going. Look, all we have to do is head back to the pound, find out where the junkyard is from Strudel, go there, and exchange Tyson for Niblet. Yeah, that should work. Good, then go, dogs, go. You have no idea how we're going to pull this off, do you? No, I don't. But we're going to try. Well, boy, here we are. Junkyard Gym's yard of premium junk. Make yourself at home. your baba, you teeny plastic human. But I sure am scared. Well, you ought to be, city dog. Well, 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 what do we got here? Seems like someone done crossed over to the wrong side of the dog park. Dog park? <laughs> dog park. Now, see, we're junkyard dogs. And being junkyard dogs, we've got but one job to do. Yeah, just one job. One job. <laughs> One job. <laughs> Which is to protect the junkyard from unwanted varmints. And that means you. <laughs> <laughs> You see him? Not yet. Well, will you hurry? This is humiliating. Welcome to the club. Just hold still, will ya? I see a bunch of dogs. And a bunch of junk. And an old... Nibla! Found him, guys! Good, then let's go get him! Not so fast. We gotta do this right, or there's no way we'll ever get Tyson in there. You're gonna make me cry! Wait here. I'll be right back. Where's that big old city dog gone now? He disappeared! Shoot! Yee-hoo! I got some muskrat kibble for y'all! <laughs> hey, you Betty Bob, Billy Ray, Bobby Bill. You meet the new fella yet? He's a real tough one, he is. I think you're gonna like him. <sighs> Nibbling! Hey! Nibbling! You okay, buddy? Lucky! Thank gosh it's you! Gotta get me out of here! And fast! I will, I promise. But first, we've gotta figure out a way to get Tyson in without Junkyard Jim knowing it. But I can't wait! You have to, Nibs. You're a pound puppy, remember? That's your job. Okay, okay. But those other dogs are mean, and I'm scared! There's no reason to be. They're just dogs, like you. Just keep telling yourself, I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of anybody. Come on, say it! Okay. I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody! I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody. Good. Just keep saying it. I'll be back tonight, and by then, I'll have figured out a way to get you out. Okay. I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody. I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody. You all sure do like them cables, don't you? Oh, heck. It's almost time for my favorite show, Chicken and Gumbo. Those are too tough long, and let me tell you. Okay, you dogs have fun now, and leave me alone, because it's the season finale. Gumbo's got amnesia. Don't know how they're going to top that. You boys finished? That means yep. Then let's go find that intruder. He came this way. I know he did. And I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody. I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody. I'm big, and I'm brave. 
Well, well, look what we got here. I'm not scared of you guys, because you're just dogs like me. And I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody. Of course you are. You're nothing but a big yellow chicken dog. Bop, bop, chicken dog. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have to say for yourself, chicken dog? I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not scared of nobody. I'm big, and I'm brave, and I'm not... Oh, no, not again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 What the Stonewall Jackson is going on out here? Well, you are. Just as I suspect, you are one tough dog. Joe! Well, I think I'll call you Elvis, because you are the king of my junkyard. <laughs> Stay right here. I'm gonna get you a peanut butter and nail a sandwich. Whoa! You scared Betty Bob. Yeah, you're no chicken dog. You really are the king. Yeah, my king. You sure about this? I smell kind of like an old floor. Yes, you do. But you'll be a shoe in for Niblet. More or less. Let's do this. Hey, I'm walking here. Sorry, Squirt. I'm the see through all the waxy buildup. I'll wax you, you big lug. Quiet, somebody's coming. Can I get you a piece of meat, King Elvis? Can I, huh, huh, can I? Bring me a ticket. Yes, sir. Tell me another story, King Elvis, about your brave daring dude. Well, one day, I was sitting on the grass over by the wall of Pouncy, and these three cats came up and started hissing at me. So I barked and barked until they all ran away. But they were scary cats, right? Ones with big old claws and fangs, right? Nah, they were just kind of look. Oh, yeah, sure, they were... Wow, come and think of it, they were more like mountain lions and cats. Yeah, that scared him away with one bark. Ooh. Here's your meat, King Elvis, sir. <laughs> Why, that's that. This is turkey. I want a chicken, you big caboodle. <laughs> now get out of here and get me the right kind of bird. I command you. Ah, <sighs> it's not easy being king. Psst. Nimlet. Hey, Nimlet. Oh. Hey there, Lucky. And you gotta call me Elvis from now on. King Elvis, to be exact. Yeah, yeah. C come on, let's go. We gotta switch you and Tyson before those other dogs come back. Yeah, that's great, Lucky. Except for one thing. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? This is the plan. Come on, Niblet. Maybe you didn't hear me the first time, pheasant. I'm not Niblet. I am King Elvis. Yeah, right. The only thing you're king of is the food bowl. Is that so? Billy Ray, Bobby Bill, get over here. Object these varmints! Yes, your junkiness! Uh-oh. Run! <laughs> Chesters, amuse me! This one tastes like high-class linoleum. This way. Shoot, I'll win it again. Phew, we lost them. Wait a minute, why are we hiding from them? I could take on those fool dogs with one paw tied behind my back. Yeah, you're right. They ain't so tough. Tough isn't the point. Dogs shouldn't be chasing other dogs without a reason. A good leader wouldn't let this happen. I just don't understand Niblet acting this way. It's not like him. Why would he do it? I'll tell you why. He got a taste of power, turned him into a regular bully dog. I should know. Because it happened to me, too. Folks say you're brave. It goes right to your head like a hungry, hungry tick. Fact is, the whole time I was the scaredest of them all. Well, it takes some real guts for a guy to admit when he's wrong. 
And the girl, too. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I sure do. Okay. Well, all I know is this has got to stop. I am going to go out there and talk some sense into Niblet. Want some backup? No, I think this is something better done one-on-one. -on -one. More kibble, bucktooth mixed squeaker shorts! <laughs> you call this beef delicious? Be gone, ye foul moldout! Niblet, I've got a bone to pick with you. Lucky? What are you doing here? Where's my guards? Oh, quit the act, Nibs. I've known you since we were puppies. This isn't who you really are. It is now. I'm King Elvis. Come on. <sighs> you don't understand, Lucky. Back at the pound, I'm just nibble at the flower snipper, nibble at the klutz, nibble at the scaredy cat. But here, I'm Elvis the brain, Elvis the top, Elvis the king of all he sees. Well, what about nibble at the fun? What about Nibble at the kindest, sweetest, most generous dog I've ever known? Because I'll tell you something, I miss that guy. I miss my friend. Yeah, well, he's gone. And the new guy's me. Hey, King Elvis, we, we found one of them. Yeah, we found him right here. See him? He's standing right in front of you. Oh, they're even dumber than me. Take him! <laughs> It sounds like the back gate. Must be varmints. Oh, wait! See anything, cuz? No, I sure don't, cuz. How about you? Well, looky what we got here. A couple hungry hound dogs. Hey there, hound dogs. Want some big old juicy steaks? Now, those are some trusty junkyard dogs. Oh, yeah, as in you can always trust a dog that loves steak. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys doing? You can't just let them in here. They're intruders. Oh, they're all right. I mean, look, they gave us medals. Yeah, medals. What? What? This can't be happening. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, what are you going to do, King? Uh, uh, I got to get Junkyard Jim. Ticket, I'm hit. Call it back up. Hooey! I'm on the edge of my seat. Now, Elvis, this here's the day new mall. Uh, gotta be brave, gotta be brave. Where's that bee? Here, little bee. Here, little bee. Niblet, what are you doing? Try to find that bee. Maybe if he flies up my nose, I'll be brave again. Nibs, that's just what I've been trying to tell you. If you need a bee to fly up your nose to make you brave King Elvis, then maybe that's not who you are. But somebody's got to stop those guys from stealing Jim's tires. Which guys? <laughs> In which tires? Over there! What I tell you? Like stealing automotive goods from a baby. Not on my watch. <laughs> uh oh, here comes another one. Here you go, boy. I saved the best steak for you. <laughs> Must be one of them vegetarian hams. <laughs> The William Tecumseh sermon is going on it. We'll all be hog tied. <laughs> oh, crawdads. We're done for now. Well, don't blame me. That's the toughest, craziest junkyard dog I ever saw. Well, you're right about that. Yeah, that's what I call a real king. <sighs> And the next thing I knew, Elvis here treated him up the auto pot. He's a natural. Heck, he even came with his own clever disguise. And to think, them fellows is gonna steal more than a hundred dollars worth of tires. Curse you, junkyard dog! Back my kitty. Mine too. Someone's gonna crush on the king. Someone's gonna crush on the king. Something. Oh. oh. You okay, Nimblet? Sure. For a good for nothing flower sniffer. Aw, oh, come on. It was pretty cool the way you tried to stop those thieves. You kidding? I couldn't even get Junkyard Jim to stop watching TV. Hey, you tried. Besides, everything turned out all right in the end. Tyson found his way home, and we got our friend back. Yeah, I know. It's just... For one brief shining moment, I was a king, Lucky. I was important. Damn, you still are. Yeah, yeah, you're important to all of us. You really are. Of course. Thanks, guys. 
And you're not all mad at me for, you know, acting like a tyrant? Oh, we were mad at you, all right. But we'll forgive you if you promise not to do it again. I promise. Just don't mention peanut butter and banana sandwiches. The delicious taste will only remind me of all I had and all I lost. You think he's gonna be okay? Yeah, just give him a few weeks, he'll be back to his old goofy self. I hope. <laughs> a few weeks? It's been five hours and he's goofier than ever. That's our niblet. Guy can snap back faster than a screen door and a stage five twister. Wow, I guess I hung out with Bobby Bill too long. All right, Lucky, Yakima's ready to go. Good. Strudel, finish the ramp? Roger that. All we need now is Stuntman Steve, and Yakima here will have his human. He's coming! He's coming! Daisy! Daisy! I love you! More than gravy! Yes, I do! You're so pretty! Yes, you are! Prettier than pizza! Or chasing after cars! Oh, no. Now that's a stunt dog. Here we go again.